guy and then what I'm doing. There's this fella named Gino May. I don't know if I'm saying his last name right. It's M-E-I. It's Italian. Uh, he was born in Italy. And when he turned 18, he was conscripted into Mussolini's army. Uh, and as soon as Mussolini sided with Hitler, Gino hopped on a boat to the United States. And he joined the American army and went back to Europe to fight Hitler. He was at the Battle of the Bulge with General Patton. He was in Patton's third army. And uh, he made it out back to the U.S., lived his life. He is a classic car aficionado. Today's his 103rd birthday. There's a retired Air Force colonel that's trying to get together a thousand classic cars to drive by Gino's house down in the Phoenix area today for his birthday. So I'm taking the Hot Rod Shoebox down there to do that. I posted on Facebook last week when I found out about it. See if I can get any of the cars of the Prescott area to come with me. So I'm heading over to the meetup spot, see if anybody's there. And uh, whether there is or not, I'm going down. Nobody met up in the meet point. So I'm heading down to Phoenix by myself for this veteran's parade. It's monsooning. There's flash flood warnings all the way down. Here we go. This is historic of Mayor. Sniffrator's telling me something's going on with the car, so I'm gonna go to downtown Mayor. It's a metropolis. And uh, see what's going on. But I thought I'd show you this. Why don't I just try and go faster? I did. All I did. 
made it down here and it's hot. It's not only classic cars here, it's all kinds of cars and flags and it's more like a parade for this cat's birthday. It's gonna be cool. I guess this thing's already started. They wanted a thousand cars and uh, I guess they got it because there's still more coming in and it's been going for a while. I spy with my little eye a firebird. Ooh, it's a three petal flavor. Nice. The guy's sitting in it. I didn't ask him if I could do this. I'm just a creeper. Very nice. Thank you, sir. I like your. Looky, looky what I found. Found a 55 Chevy hard top. Full of people, look at that. Say hi everybody. Tell them to start going. I drove down here for Prescott in my car with no AC. It's a hot rod shoebox. You guys are trying to kill me with this heat. <laughs> At least you guys are. P 51 Mustang and a F, what? 16? 15? I don't know. Look at that. Whoa. Very nice. You know, most of the folks in the bitch and classic cars aren't in them because they're holy mother of Jesus. I'd be merry. Look at that. Cooling it off. Stuck my hand in there and it is medium rare. Look at this Jeep. It's really a will. Oh! He's got the presentation in one grand. It's a presentation because it's a nickel. Which means it's probably not real. <laughs> He's not in a period uniform, but he's in a uniform. What year is this? 42. 42. We got paint on this thing. My goodness. Oh, shit. Yeah. Did Amanda do that? Heading back to the hot rod shoebox. Look what's over here. Oh, boom! A Fox Body convertible. Nice. This whole parking lot was full of cars. And uh, we're almost to me. There's a little bit after me, too. I'm in line. I'm almost to Gino's house. Somebody just did a burnout up there, so. <laughs> did somebody just do a burnout? Someone did, and it was pretty damn cool. Uh, it was. Yeah, it's she, a little one. It's she a says, racer. watch this. Wait, wait, let me tape it, okay? Where is he? There he is. Happy birthday, Gino! Oh she, she told me, hold on, I gotta hold on. You ready? That was better than the race car. Gino May, 103 years old. Happy birthday. There were a couple of famous people to wish him happy birthday. Joe Montaigne was one. I don't know who the other one was, but I guess it was all about uh, Italian American heroes. Let's go see if we can get one more last look at him. After a truck goes by.
Happy birthday, Gino! Good ride. The car did great. Uh, 103 years old for the guy this thing was for. Had a good time. People down there were nice. It was weird. This is my friend Cheeseburger. That's Cheeseburger. <laughs> 